Hello Internet. Welcome to Cars, Wheeling, and Technology. This is Will. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to do something that we've never done before. So, people have a lot of questions about, hey, if you're a big guy, how is it getting in and out of the Corvette? How is it as far as daily driving? Well, if you can't tell from the video, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm six foot one and I weigh 260 pounds. And I can get in and out of this and I can get in and out of it comfortably and I can get you know, in a comfortable position when I drive. But this is not a car that if you're tall, you can just jump right in and jump right out. Um, there's gonna be times when you're gonna hit your head and here getting in. I mean, it's something you do have to think about where if you just hop in and forget, you're gonna hit your head. How hard you hit your head depends on how much you forgot that it's a low sitting car. But I'm gonna give you the, uh, show you the, how I get in and out of the car most of the time then show you some other alternatives but like i said i'm six foot one weigh 260 pounds and basically for me the easiest way to do it open up the car sit down swing my legs in close the door when you get out of the car you just do what I just did in reverse. You'll open up the car. Swing your legs out. Stand up. Close the door. And go about your business. So that's one way. Other way is normally when you get into a car, you, you just go in and you kind of just go in sideways. I can do that with this car, but it's not as comfortable. Since I got the car, I've been doing the sit down, swing my legs in more often just because that just seems more natural. But if I want to, I can do they're just getting in like that. But like I said, for me, it's easier doing it the other way because I don't know if you noticed that my leg hit the steering wheel and part of my rear end hit the seat so for me it's just easier to do it the other way and to get out of the car same thing is i can get out you know basically doing it the same way you see i lost my balance a little bit but you know you can get in and out of the car so it's not something that if you're a big guy that you can say oh my god i shouldn't get a corvette I won't be able to get in and out of it, but you can get in and out of it. Now my car, I've got the GT1 seats. The only reason I got GT1 and did not even consider the GT2 seats or the GT3 is while I was waiting for my car to come in, I was fortunate enough to be able to sit in a car. So it was a hard top convertible, just like this one. So I could kind of do my own experiments and my, kind of, my own tests to see how I could get in and out of the car. And that car had GT1 seats. So once I got in the car with GT1 seats and got in the car, was able to set it up and got comfortable, I said, okay, I know GT1 seats work, so I'm not gonna mess with this. I'm just gonna get GT1. I might be able to fit fine in GT2 seats, but I didn't wanna order GT2 and then be cramped or stuck in them. So that's why I went with GT1. Now I'm going to show you a couple of things on the inside of the car that you got to be on the lookout for. How much space I've got and versus how much headroom I've got once I'm sitting in the car. So I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm back and I'm sitting in the car and this is how I've got the car set up. I've always had it set up like this from day one when I came back from getting it. And as you see, I do have some headroom. I would say this is maybe a couple of inches here. So my head is not hitting the top. I don't know how much it would be if somebody was like six foot four, six foot five. I've got one neighbor who's a little bit taller than us, but he's not home, so I could not use him in the video. But I mean, you, you've still got some headroom at six foot one, and you can adjust these seats down. Like if I bring my seat up some, then I could position it lower than what it is. I don't know if you can see the seat going down. So just from doing that, I've probably given myself maybe another two or three inches of headroom. So even if you get in the car at first, 
and you do have you know small headroom here once you start doing adjustments you can make more headroom then how I normally drive the car too is you know I kind of lean back a little bit but as you can see you know I've still got room here you know my legs are hitting up against the side too but that's not that big of a deal and I can drive the car pretty comfortably so I would just say that if you're a bigger guy and you're thinking about getting one of these cars of course if you can find one to sit in that would be the best thing to do but like I said I'm 260 pounds my stomach's not anywhere near the steering wheel you know and I'm not overlapping into the passenger side so even if you are a bigger guy or a bigger girl and you're thinking about one of these cars I would say go for it you know that's not gonna be you know a consideration now there's gonna be people that look at this video and say well I'm six foot five and weigh 300 pounds or I'm six foot seven weigh 280 pounds I can only go by the sample size I have which is myself being six foot one weighing 260 so if you are bigger than me or if you're taller hopefully you can find someone at a car show that will let you sit in a C8 I'm thinking that there's enough C8s out there now that if you go to a car show someone will let you do that I mean I'll say this on YouTube that if you see me at a car show and you're a bigger guy and want to sit in my car just to see if you fit I wouldn't have a problem with that and I don't think a lot of people in the Corvette community would have a problem with that either so just a little quick video I was thinking about it you know the more I get in and out of the car I said you know people might need to see this so that's gonna be it for this video if you like what we're doing please subscribe we've got a lot of things going on with the channel like I said we're gonna do some videos on the Tesla also but please subscribe Hit that notification button and I'll see you next time. Thanks.